Hello, hello, <coughs> and welcome to another tutorial. And this time I will tell about the, I mean, show you how you pros possibly can uh, fix your Canon F1. Uh, in this case, it will be a sticky slow gear, and there will be some other details and also about the winder arm, advance arm, advance, part of the advance uh, gear that will be sticky or so. But uh, let's take a look at it. So, let's see what we can deal with. Well, <clears throat> this old F1 which is actually a nice camera um, has a problem with the uh, slow gear I mean the one second problem and if I set the camera to one second well sometimes well <laughs> it's uh, well okay here yeah it's a bit slowly so um and also the advanced arm which uh, seems quite okay right now oh you see the <laughs> slow gears not really good come on hmm. so now <clears throat> we need some tools to dis disassemble this camera and uh, work with and we also need some f different kind of fluidium. And uh, yeah, first the dentist tool and a good tweezer is very handy. Um, and a kind of uh, different collection of screwdrivers, which will be all for the. Oh! <laughs> For the um, crochet screwdrivers, it will all be JIS, since it's a Japanese camera. So, uh, this one will be the JIS 00, which is actually and the JIS 00. It's called the different here, 2mm and 2.5. It's from a Moody tool. Um, which I buy at uh, ifixit.com and there's also a modified which I have modified a PH00 uh, which fits very very good because I have filed the very pointed tip off so it can fit uh, actually very good in JIS screws now we also need some flathead screwdrivers. This is a 1.5 millimeter. This is a German brand called Vera. And there's also a 1.8. And there is another brand which I cannot remember, but this is a very good quality, which is 2.4 millimeter flathead. Now <clears throat> we also need a um, kind of a lens spinner. This is a uh, old compass which I have filed and grind the tips so they can be used to work with cameras and lenses and we also need some kind of uh, contact glue this is a Danish brand called Dana Lean universal uh, or I should say in Danish universal lean <laughs> but it, it works pretty good and we also need some lighter fluid with a thin needle on serine needle so it can uh, so I can better apply the the uh, lighter fluid at small points we also need some oil which uh, and again a serine needle and this is a brand called Atlantic oil and for sewing machines so, so um, it's a very thin one 
and it works pretty good with small parts. We also need some Loctite, which is the uh, Threadlock 222. It's a purple one. A few, <coughs> some super loop, just a little. And that's be that should be all. I will also use some special homemade tool. Uh, it's not special for this purpose, but uh, it can be used for lenses and cameras. But yeah. Now let's jump into it. <laughs> what is the problem actually? Yeah, there's slow gear, but where does it sit? There are. I saw it sit in the bottom part or somewhere inside here, but no, it's exactly up in this area here under the under the right uh, cover um, and under the uh, advanced system, advanced uh, parts. So. Uh, the only thing we need to take off is actually the the front here and of course the the prism and the <coughs> the right uh, cover and of course those buttons here somewhere nothing else is needed there are two screws here on the the front one here one here and there's one hidden behind somewhere in here so I need to take off the this uh, frame front frame but first I will take off the top cover the problem is there's only one button in the left side of the camera so I can push it in and it should be possible to draw the prism back but of course not because it's locked in the in the right side of the prison. So I can use my flathead screwdriver and push it in. Where should it be? There. Press the other one and then draw back the prison. Very easy. <clears throat> now the um, the front and I can also get rid of the uh, the focusing screen not so I set any fingerprints on so very good and now I can uh, work much better with the camera <clears throat> get rid of all those parts so the first thing is to take off the two screws in the bottom of the fr front frame here. Of course I have been into the camera and investigate how things was put together. And for this I will use my longer JIS which is better in this case and I, I like the uh, short I like this very good it's very good and uh, this one is the uh, JIS 000 which is also very good but well <coughs> So, and then I can take off this frame by pull it off like this. Nothing special in that way. So, and there I mentioned the, the um, hidden screw which sits behind here, as you can see. And then just unscrew it. There are three screws holding the top cover, the right top cover. The one, as I mentioned here, 
and then there's one on the side here and one on the back. So the two screws, uh, which is different from the one, is actually they are countersunk, and the one on the front here is not countersunk just so you know it. So that was part of it. Then I can take off the um, the winding arm, advance arm, and for that I will use my um, <coughs> my uh, compass lens spinner or if, if it uh, is possible you can use some sticky rubber and put it on like here and if it's loose enough one can actually use friction to do it. We do it again because uh, the rubber you if you can get it this is from an old uh, record player which I have uh, yeah I don't know where I get it <laughs> many years ago but also one could use those uh, rubber cones from Japan Hobby Tool it's also very good to work with lenses but they are also very sticky so have a finger here on the advance arm and then put it straight on and then turn it it will be much better if uh, but if the the film advance uh, screw here, top screw, is too hard to screw it in. Then you can just loosen it with this one, and uh, like I do here. So, but um, of course, it's more safe to use the the rubber tools. So as long as it. <coughs> it's uh, loose you can just use uh, <coughs> your finger so all for that and uh, there are some parts in here a spacer not a spacer but it's uh, as you can see here <coughs> it has to sit uh, correct I mean it doesn't matter if it sits there or if you turn it so uh, there will be no problem with that but oh for that and then there is a waved spacer spring spacer I guess it calls <clears throat> and then the actual advance arm itself it looks like this <clears throat> Maybe I should zoom in a little. So, <clears throat> and there is another part here. And more things, more small parts. There's also a brass spacer here. If I can get it out. The This one. It has to sit over here, the uh, axle. And also this one, which is actually doesn't matter how it sits. It can sit that way or the other way, doesn't matter. So there and yeah, that's only one of those spa uh, spacers here. So that's it. <coughs> And there the last part which is a plastic spacer which also has to sit correct. It's uh, f almost flat in the bottom part 
And it has a um, two steps of of her diameter there and there as you can see <clears throat> so and now the uh, shutter button which also have to come off but there is a lock function here so right now it stays on L <clears throat> but if I turn it on I mean so I can fire the shutter button there is a locking screw <clears throat> Which you can see here, and just for make it much easier to when assemble the camera, the screw has to sit in line with the uh, dot, the A here, and the um, I mean almost in line. But you see the uh, when turning on the camera, the surface here on the front should be yeah in line with the with the front here so <clears throat> so now when it's uh, it's on on a one can set put in one screw I mean uh, say 1.5 okay it should be 1.2 okay doesn't matter 1.5 is also okay but there is a small spring in here, somewhere in here, and a small steel ball. So don't lose it. So when before to unscrew this set screw, keep uh, keep this one pressed down, and then I can loosen the. I mean, just loosen. There's no need for unscrew it fully. And then there I lift it up gently and take care of the small spring you maybe can see it here there somewhere and there so I will just lift it straight up because in this part here there is a Ooh, where did it go? Okay, I need to... Yeah, okay. <laughs> there, there's some small parts. As you can see, it's a very big, I mean, very small spring. I should say and uh, together with the absolutely tiny steel ball don't loosen them <laughs> oh go away so now <clears throat> uh, here you can see what the um, the two holes, not boring, bores uh, right there and right there. So it's actually the two, yeah, it's not fully driven through the, uh, through the other side. And it's uh, for the lock function, for the, for the on camera and then off. And if um, <clears throat> if it's just stay here, it's not possible to push the shutter button. It has to come all the way over to A, and then it's possible to press the shutter button. Now, all for that, uh, so it has to stay on A, it will be more easy to take it off. And now, <clears throat> what thing that actually looks a bit different uh, difficult this part here I can see other people have been into the camera but it is glued on with some 
uh, contact glue, I guess. So one can actually just lift it up here. Um, it's made of aluminium. So, and here you can see there is some, there has been some glue in here. And there's also some glue on here, on the, on the, this screw here. So, <clears throat> Set the camera to to one two thousand a second because uh, when we I will take out the advanced gear. Um, no, not yet. I will begin to set it at B. That's my starting point, and twenty five Asa or ASA <coughs> and then unscrew this screw here <coughs> so it looks like that and then it's possible to take off the the um, film speed knob there are something in here you need to take care of. This pin, which is the connection to the to here, and um, let's see if I can show you this. This is the ASA uh, pin connection to this pin here. So if I move the uh, I mean lift it up so I can move the uh, ASA ring but set it as uh, 25 so it's the very end of this curve <clears throat> and not to get confused about uh, how things are set I have actually just put a mark here with the green line and I also put a mark here um, and of course it was before I took it apart so I just set it like this it will be easier for you to if you go deeper into the camera so just to know where it should sit and also this pin I just set a mark here And then I can actually lift off the cover. So this is how it looks. Very well built. It. And see, <coughs> as my starting point will be the B, I also set a mark here. Thus, just so I know where things has been before I take it apart maybe some <laughs> people laugh laugh and think okay I can find out but the repair manual doesn't tell that much about how to go deeper into the stuff in my opinion now let's get some uh, advanced arm here just set it on and screw it on lightly so we do not need all the parts but just so I can advance the camera so if I advance the camera uh, I need to push in the the shutter button but since it's locked because this pin in here I have to push on it and it will do the same like the like this part does when it goes from there to there but uh, I can just push on the middle and then fire the shutter so 
if I uh, set it to one second by doing so. So, and then it should be possible to actually see if the um, if the slow gear is actually working. Oh, <laughs> I need to push the shutter button. The slow gear is actually located down here in this area. And also it goes all the way over here under the advance and film speed um, arrangement. To get anything on the so and then um, I can fire the shutter and let's see how it will go. Not very good, you see, it's a bit slowly. You can just do it again. So, look in here. When I fire the shutter, see it's not really that happy. So there it is. Now I uh, look in the repair manual and found out that if I take off the whole advance, uh, I mean the top of the advance gear, there are four screws, which is located there there not this one this one here and the last one here and there are different screws <clears throat> this is uh, countersunk and this is also countersunk and this is the last countersunk and this is just a what do you say a normal screw head <clears throat> And if I take all those four screws out, I can lift out the whole advance, uh, actually the advance gear, I mean part of it. But before doing so, I need to, the repair manual says something about that this part should be moved, but uh, I do not need that. I can just set my film, I mean, uh, okay, where did it go, here, I can just set the uh, shutter button at two, one two thousand a second, and then this part will, as you probably can see here, it will move when I move it over here. It will not. I cannot take out the the uh, advance <coughs> assembly. But if I move the uh, shutter speed button all the way over to when two thousand second, it will be free from this side here. So therefore, <clears throat> I can just unscrew the four screws and then take out the advance gear. Fire the shutter and that's it. And then I can just unscrew this part here. I mean those parts. Get this off. The wave washer, the advance arm itself, and then this part here. So, oh, for that shutter button, shutter speed button, and then I can simply unscrew the four screws here, and for that, I will use my. JIS 000 for that. This part in here 
can be pushed in so there is no problem uh, by unscrew this screw as you can see and it's countersunk and the next the screw is also countersunk they have used some kind of thread lock in the past and this screw here is not countersunk and it's longer and then the last one so and here we are <clears throat> now there is also a wire here on the front that I will guess it's from the, uh, I mean, to the the uh, flash contact, I guess. And uh, we do not need to unsolder it. Just have to lift this up here. So, and one can actually lift up the shutter button part here. But, oh, one thing I forgot to mention, we have to lift, I mean, open the uh, the film back by pushing down the button here and lift up this one and open the lid. See, it will make it easier when take out the, uh, the advanced gear because this part here which is pushed in as you can see and uh, it will uh, interfere with the when I take try to take out the advanced assembly here so it has to stay open but it's not a problem but just be sure you not push on delicate parts so <clears throat> And then I can can just give it some more wire here, and then lift out the uh, advance part, the spring there, and close the lid. Now. <clears throat> The problem also is also that this spring here has to come down. Difficult to see, I know. See this uh, this spring there. This spring here, leaf spring, as the it's actually a contact. Um, it has to come under here. So therefore, the um, when I open the lid, look what's happened with with the uh, counter. Uh, gear connection to the advance so you see it will be free and add more space around here now <clears throat> I would like to advance the camera uh, without the um, actually actually advanced gear so therefore I think this fork would be uh, useful it should go the other way mm -hmm. is there anything else I can use instead maybe this one just another <laughs> compass tool so if I do see 
So it's actually possible. And then I could uh, set the camera to one second. Just so I can work with the with the slow gear and you can actually see what's happening here. This is also part of the the slow gear here. Um, and you can see all the dust and dirt around this area. And it actually needs to be cleaned with lighter fluid. But let's see if I press the shutter button, which is this one here. So if I press, you see, it tried to, to work, but cannot. So here we are. And I can just show it again. So there. <clears throat> I mean, it, it does uh, what it should sometimes, but not all the time. So I press the shutter button again. And the same happened. You can see it, I mean, it's still alive, so uh, the camera is actually working. But what I do is uh, I do not need to take all the gear out. Um, I mean, it can be done, but uh, I think I will just try the, the lazy way, the lazy way. To do it and simply take a uh, cotton bud with some lighter fluid just a few drops and then try to clean part of it away I know I cannot come under the um, slow gear, but uh, I can just add a few drops here. So, on this area, and simply uh, let the by advance the shutter. and uh, fire the shutter again whoa much better oh do it again bad light so I would just show it in a better way so you can see but and since I only use some, I mean, just a two, three drops of lighter fluid, I can simply just, uh, with a blower, get it to evaporate faster and then um, give the, the bearings here for the accident, just give it a few drops of, I mean, tiny drop of uh, sewing machine oil and then it will run again and I think this is the the adjust the adjustment screw for the for the the one second I guess there is also another I mean the repair manual doesn't uh, actually describe that so good in my opinion there's something about the the one second and which I guess is the this screw and there's also another pin 
that you have to bend in a way and I haven't really figured out what it is because there is not the drawings uh, are not so good in there but I mean we can just try to advance it again and see how good the one second is well it's not bad in my opinion so uh, well I will just assemble the camera again but before doing so there is uh, something about the the uh, we say the advanced arm which I think is a bit is a bit um, sticky so what to do about that mm. yeah <clears throat> let's see if I can do something about it This is a, a one unit, uh, so it's not uh, there's not really much one can do about it. But I can actually do something. I can give it one drop of lighter fluid. There and move it and then I can actually add one drop of oil tiny drop on the top here so there and give it some movement so and it looks absolutely okay to me so <clears throat> and then I can simply put the things back to place again uh, but before doing so I will just uh, add a tiny drop of oil on the bearings here there so And that's it and then wipe away the rest of it and say okay that's fine so open the the back cover the film door so it's uh, easier to put the advance gear in oh come on so so and that this spring has to come in there That bloody wire. <laughs> oh. 
What is going on here? Should sit there. Mm -hmm. It just went in. <laughs> Not easy. What's going on here? This tiny spring there. And then the advance here you can just move it a little. Around there. What's going on here? <coughs> to take off the film speed so. <clears throat> so it sits should sit like this and then I can put on the, the advanced gear. So there it should be. Of course I cannot <laughs> because if you see here this arm here this long bar has to sit on one two thousand a second and not only so right now right now it sits on one a second but I need to put it all the way over to one two thousand a second before I can put it correct on you see here if I move this all the way over here it uh, it's not possible to to take off this or simply put it on if it's all all the way over here so the film speed has to stay on one two thousand a second and then it's possible I mean it should be <laughs> possible to to put on and uh, make it correct yeah And of course the wire here hmm should stay there and then we are on the right track so I can assemble things again where did it go here Not this one here so the I mean the 
the normal screw has to stay here. So, and the rest of the screw is actually almost the same, not really. And uh, there are countersunk screw there and there. Oh, there's a countersunk screw in this corner and the opposite corner. And uh, just to make it better for the for the uh, advanced gear to not get loose, I will simply add a little um, thread lock to thread lock the uh, the four screws here around, so they will stay the way they should. So that's much more than enough. <clears throat> Just a tiny, tiny drop, and then screw it in there. And I simply take out the, the other two screws that I put in. And the last one. Which sits here. So, and now we are back on the right track. You can see the locking function here. When I close the back door. So, <clears throat> and then I can try my um, to see if I can wind the camera and I will set it to one second there just to see if it works as it should so on with this and just on with the advance arm then advance the camera then fire the shutter. Whoa, that's great. I mean, really good. So that's the way it should be. And then I can uh, do the assembling and get the camera to work again <clears throat> as it should. Oh, for that <clears throat> now the um, the tiny spacer here should sit which is made of brass I mean branch or so has to sit on first and then I can simply put my my uh, cover on here on again so no 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 not yet because I forgot something the wire here is a bit annoying <coughs> And that's why I uh, need the glue to put on here. Just a little amount to keep the wire from fooling around. So I'll just add a little. Let's 
somewhere here. Just a little. That should be more than enough. And it's absolutely fast drying. So you can simply just do so. And let it stay there for a little. And then the, the rest of the wire will just have a, a little curve here. It will just make it easier to, to put the cover on. So, uh, let's get my tweezer here. So you can see, I can just put it in here and it will hopefully stay there. As it should. Maybe add a little more glue. So there, and simply add just a little in here, so the wire will stay there where it should. And then the top cover here can just be put on. So, and then add the screws, which there was two flathead screw, I mean countersunk screw, and one another kind of screw that goes in here. So, and the two countersunk screws. One on the side, there, and the other one on the back. So, and then I can actually put the uh, the front, the front have frame <coughs> on, and uh, take care of the wire here. One can just help it in. So I need to take this off and then can one help the, the frame on here so it is and then put it on so and here we go <clears throat> there are two screws in the bottom It's kind of a countersunk screws, so it looks it looks fine for that. And there is the same on the on each side of the of the uh, the mount. So, on with this one, and uh, then the rest of the things here will go on. And it's good that I set my mark here, so I have an idea where things should sit. I mean, the pin here goes into here. And the um, 
that went in the film I mean the shutter speed button has to come over here there and then try to catch the this pin I mean this pin here will go in here so one has to move it back and forth a little just to get it on and maybe with a thin tweezer one can actually push it if you see here this uh, fork in here I can I can push it a little and then put the film speed on so <clears throat> and then add the, uh, the screw for the film I mean the shutter speed and I think I will also add a little thread lock for that just a tiny amount it will be fine okay catch the thread and everything actually looks fine then add the uh, the uh, shut up button lock you say I will put it on and then so it goes down to L and then move it all the way up here there is a little spring tension um, for the lock in here somewhere but it's not a problem and then I can add my uh, my tiny spring which is really tiny so and to get it easier <coughs> to get this this uh, lock ring I don't know what it calls but it's a kind of a lock ring and of course the the tiny steel ball I will just uh, use a tiny amount of um, of uh, super loop which is good for that And simply add it to here to get the the steel ball will stick to the to the grease so and there it sits you see the uh, the locking screw which is there are two of them there's one here oh sorry there are two uh, locking screws I mean set screws there should be three but there's one missing here well there's two one there one there but this one which is closest to the steel ball is the one that should sit uh, up to the when pushing the locking uh, I mean the on off thingy uh, all the way over it will be in line with the A and the dot and this is where this this uh, screw has to sit but now I can actually just put it on put this all the way over here and put this on and then it will um, will be fine so by pressing down here put this all the way over and it should be in line with the with the white dot then I can just screw it in 
so and the other screw on the back so there and then I can actually move the on off thingy so it's locked at right now when it's day on L so when it's open I mean on A I can push the button so that's really good and then the film advanced parts which I already almost forgot I mean miss this uh, tiny brass or should stay on there now the <coughs> the black uh, cover here plate should stay on here first and then this part here which I don't know what name it has but um, comes on so and then the advance arm itself comes on here the wave spacer spring and then the the spacer here with the two pins in the middle comes on here can it only sit one way turn it over and maybe it sits better the other way okay it looks like it, it has to sit correct so now I can just put the screw on but maybe I should add a little thread lock just for to be sure it sits so And then let's see what goes. Wow, it goes pretty good because the uh, advance arm was before I took it apart. It was really uh, sticky, kind of not really good. So I will just use my uh, rubber tool here to simply uh, say there to simply screw it, I mean tighten it. There's no need to overdo it. Wow, it flips back. Pretty good. Wow. I mean that's really good. <clears throat> so, and uh, then the the uh, focusing screen is coming in right there okay <laughs> hold on a second it should stay like this of course the opposite direction so and here it goes and then on with the prism and uh, then we are actually almost there and you should just say click so and then you only miss one part, which is the uh, the small top cover here for the the uh, shutter speed. And I will just put on a little glue for that. Not really much, just that tiny amount. So then on with that and here we are. And then this uh, old camera is actually 
working pretty good again. One second is fine. So <clears throat> I hope you can uh, use the info in this uh, video. And uh, yeah, that's all for me right now. See you sooner in another tutorial. Bye bye.